Welcome to The House Show. Hi, I'm Lou Rinaldi, and this is The House Show. Each week I dissect and discuss my views and interpretations on the pro wrestling industry. And as far as uh, for you, the IWC, or Internet Wrestling Community, um, knows ex, ex creative talent team member Freddie Prince Jr. was the B list celebrity guest host for Monday Night Raw last week. And um, Freddie Prince, I have a gripe with him, there's an issue because he essentially stole my dream job. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little bitter. So me shitting on him was uh, probably the most recognition he's gotten uh, in his career for the past 10 years. So uh, consider it a favor. Everybody gets one. And thanks to Randy Orton for uh, putting him out for half the show. Let's jump right to, uh, to Summerfest. SummerSlam. Eh, what's the difference? Uh, SummerSlam 2009 is uh, coming up this Sunday night, and we've got some big matches. And um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna jump right into the the World Heavyweight Title match, Jeff Hardy versus CM Punk. And this is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Uh, everybody, I believe, remembers TLC One at SummerSlam 2000, and uh, you know it. It was pretty memorable. It was, by all means, a spot fest, but uh, it was it was certainly a memorable match. And we're going to get to see this for the title, and it's becoming quite compelling because CM Punk is developing into quite the. Um, the nice fresh heel on on SmackDown, and I, I mean I I believe that SmackDown's becoming the premier show now. I don't know what's going on with Raw and the writers, but um, you know you guys tell me if you agree or agree to disagree. But um, CM Punk's becoming quite a nice heel. He he used to do this gimmick uh, in a roundabout way in Ring of Honor ROH out of Philadelphia. And he played the you know the straight edge um, heel, and you know he's getting he's getting the heat, and he's slowly turning, and it's really just fresh to see uh, this happen. And you know we're gonna see Jeff Hardy once again end the feud in some kind of ladder match. It, it's got to be either him and Edge. They always end their feuds in some kind of gimmick match, uh, and this is no different than the rest. But uh, you know Jeff again. He's uh, uh, he, he's he is he is the uh, spot monkey of the E right now, having born. But um, so he's preparing for something big, and I know this because the house show has uh, has has got an exclusive interview with the man Jeff Hardy himself in training, and um, we'll show you that in just a moment. But. Um, what I do want to go over is the, is the card for SummerSlam, and who's not on the card, what I noticed, is that John Morrison is not on the card. And I think we're all a little upset about that because of the performer that he is. And a lot of people have said to me, you know, how cool would it be to have Morrison in, in that TLC match in a three-way? And you know what? As sweet as that probably would turn out, um, in order, in order to keep CM Punk's heel integrity, John Morrison needs to stay out of this feud because if CM Punk can win the title and put out Jeff Hardy, uh, whether he does go on this, work through this leave that he's supposed to go on, um, it ought to be interesting, but I think it's good for CM Punk's career if he maintains the integrity of this heel. Um, you know, putting out Punk on—I mean, putting out Hardy, rather uh, on his own—and you know, maybe lead up to something with with Morrison. And uh, by all means, this the man should be on the card. But what are you going to do? As far as the card goes, we have 
MVP versus Jack Swagger. This could be a fun match if they get the time. If if they give these guys 15 minutes to show them what they got in the spotlight, I think Swagger is going to show that uh, you know he's going to be a rising star and certainly going to be mentioned a lot more on the house show and the user feedback and discussion. I think the guy has got what it takes. Um, We've also got some other epic matches. King versus the Great Kali. That's sure to be a Matt Classic. <laughs> DX uh, reunites again. I feel um, I feel like a broken record saying that. I feel like I'm saying it every few months. Shawn Michaels and Triple H uh, as D Generation X taking on the legacy Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase Jr. Um, what I liked. What I liked was that. On Monday night, during their reuniting uh, of DX, during their celebration, the ring with their glow sticks they're throwing to the kids and just hawking more merchandise. Um, I know the IWC feels the same way I do. I understand, so I'm not going to be repetitive. But what's cool was that they didn't bury the legacy. They didn't bury them. And legacy kind of got the upper hand there, which makes them more of a credible opponent for DX. And whether or not it'll even be a good match, um, it's sure to be fun and at least entertaining, and it'll keep my eyes on the screen. So, um, moving on from that, we've got um, Jericho, the internet wrestling community's self-proclaimed Jericho, Chris Jericho, and The Big Show 